destruction. Well, you just consider the source, Mark. You know, people, this is working. We have two boxes, two big boxes, Mark, back here of letters that all you good people have sent in. But we don't want you to stop now. Don't stop. If you've already sent in a letter, that's fine. Send in a couple more. Get your Aunt Mary and your Uncle Joe down the street to fill one out, too. And just write a little note in there to Frank Ducey and tell him why we want Eric Embry to stay in world-class wrestling, Mark. And that's all you have to do. All it's going to cost you is a 25-cent stamp. You know, people, this is the biggest write-in campaign in the history of professional wrestling. Mark, I'm sure you remember about three years ago, the late Bruiser Brody, they had a write-in campaign right here in World Class, and Bruiser was nominated by the people to wrestle for the first World Class World Heavyweight Championship three, four years ago. This has already exceeded. I want him to keep coming in. I'm going to stand right with you people. I'm your connection in world class. I'm going to be there and make sure that Eric Embry comes back, man. You know, persons sometimes fans feel like they're not recognized. But indeed they are. The, fan, the wrestlers here, fans in the crowd, you alluded last week to the fact that Congress responded to an outpouring of, of, of anger over the proposed pay raise. So the fans can participate and they can be hurt. These people out here work hard all week and line up out here and buy their tickets every Friday night. These people support world class. These people put groceries in the wrestlers' refrigerators in world class. So you people have the right to speak up. So all you have to do, get you an envelope and write on there, bring back Eric Embry, the Sportatorium, 1000 South Industrial, Dallas, Texas, 75207. Now, some of you people that are real hardcore Eric Embry fans might like to join the new Eric Embry fan club. If, you, if you're inter interested in something like that, put a self-addressed stamp envelope in there too, and we'll have our secretaries mail you out an official application form. But that's neither here or there. We're going to get flamboyant Eric Embry back in world-class wrestling. Now, Percy, have you had a chance to talk to Eric about how this outpouring of support is grabbing him? He's very, very pleased. No, not again this week, please. I warned you, Percy. I told you once, I told you twice, to stay out of my business and keep your mouth shut about Eric Embry. Now, all the letters and cards in the world, it's not going to bring that flamboyant piece of trash back in the world class. So you keep your mouth shut, Percy, if you know what's good for you. Now you can be, you can be next. Who in the hell do you think you are? Huh? You've been riding high on your camel for a long, long time, you old raghead. If you want to fight, I'll kick your butt right here. Well, Percy Pringle has just challenged Sandor Akbar. I have no fear for Percy on his own, but what I fear would be help from devastation. I hope that will not happen because Percy is up in the ring, but look out. You can smell it just like flowers in the spring. It's Cactus Jack Manson and gorgeous Gary Young. They have attacked Percy Pringle. They are literally tearing and ripping his shirt off of him. And it is a gang up with Akbar calling the shots. Akbar with a drive from the whip. Then it's gorgeous Gary with a drive. Then the stumps. And they're pulling more clothes off of Percy. And Percy is really taking a beating here. Oh, my. And I'm not sure Percy's going to have any support here from the wrestlers having been out of the business for a while. As Akbar had the boys ready just in case. You know, he came down here with nobody to begin with. And Percy challenged him to the ring. And this is really, really bad. Look at Akbar now. Elbow. They're taking turns. And Percy is helpless in this three-on-one mess. It's terrible when a good motivation turns into something like this. 
Here comes Jeff Jarrett. Here comes Brick House. He did have some help. But Percy's in bad shape. Here's Frank Dusty to check on him. We'll be back. We've got lots more wrestling. Stay with us.